So ChatGPT has this unique problem. In almost every generation, the image will look a bit yellow. It's almost like you're adding sepia filter or Mexico filter, as some people says, into the picture, even though the image is not supposed to be yellow. For example, here I asked ChatGPT to generate a picture of a person standing on the snow, which usually will yield more cooler color because of the cold temperature but you can tell that it's a bit yellow maybe you cannot see it here from the screen but i can tell that it's a bit yellow even though it should be a bit blue because of the cold temperature in fact there are so many people asking about this problem for example here there is someone on reddit trying to uh, prompt chat gpt by adding prompts like saying no sepia filter adding natural colors no yellow overlay etc but none of them actually work. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make ChatGPT to not produce yellowy image every time you are asking it to generate a picture. So let's go to ChatGPT and I'll try to recreate this picture again, the picture of someone standing on the snow. Right now, you can see that it's a bit yellowy or at least it doesn't feel blue at all. I'm going to copy and paste the prompt right here. And here, there is a simple ROM or simple instruction that you must add. So uh, you have to specify something called color temperature. The color temperature. Sorry about that. Is let's say 9000K. OK, what is 9000K? Well, it's just one color temperature. So if you go to Google and search for color temperature, you'll see a sort of chart explaining what is color temperature based on the light temperature so uh, it's actually very useful for example if you want to get something that is cold then you might want to set the number to be close to 10,000 k and then if you want to get something that is warm then you want to uh, make it to be close to 1000 k or kelvin now it's up to you which one that you want to use depending on your style uh the natural color would be 6000 but if you want to make it to be a bit colder then you want to get it close to the other end of the spectrum so just go to google search for color temperature and then you can use the chart to guide you what is the best color temperature for any given picture now let's go back to chat gpt and i'm going to enable create image and send the prompt to chat gpt and you'll see the picture is going to be a lot colder or doesn't feel yellow anymore as the previous picture all right, so this is the picture. I can say that it's so blue. It's uh, you know, it's kind of emphasizing that this temperature or this environment is really cold. It's a, a snowy environment. And I think it makes a lot of sense compared to this picture. Of course, now we have completely different pictures, but you can see that it is no longer yellow because we have set up the color temperature. Again, you can always go to Google and then see which uh, color temperature is the best for the picture that you want to generate. I actually recommend somewhere between 6,000 to 7,000. I think that feels more natural. But again, feel free to use any other color temperature. So I hope this video is helping you generate a more cooler or less yellowy photo on ChatGPT. If you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.